lost thousands of heroes on 9-11, and we are still losing heroes like James today. A number of leaders in Congress remember those heroes and have been taking up their cause over the last several years to work on this very important legislation that will make the difference to help provide medical monitoring, treatment, and financial compensation for the horrible loss that these families and workers and families in the community have experienced. Last June, I introduced the first comprehensive 9-11 health care bill in the U.S. Senate that would provide this clinical research into the lasting health effects that these men and women are experiencing and providing the financial assistance and health care that is due to really begin to repay the irreparable harm that was caused to these men and women and families in our communities. I want to thank uh, Senator Gillibrand for her leadership and for securing this vital hearing. Uh, this is in the health committee. That former Senator Ed Kennedy chaired. It is incredibly important. And uh, we have a day for moving forward. It's our plan to have this passed by the ninth anniversary of 9 11. It's been too long. It's time to pass this bill and give the men and women, our heroes and heroines, the health care and support they deserve. Every single day, every single month, between now and September 11th, more people are going to die because of the attack on September 11th. That is the tragic, sad fact. And we are responsible to those people. And as I've said to some of the people that have opposed this legislation, if when we pass the Victims' Compensation Act, when we pass the health care legislation after September 11th, if we said not only for those that are dead, but those that are dying every single day, we're going to take care of them, there is no doubt that every single one of my colleagues in Congress would have stepped up to the plate. Nine years have passed. Some memories have faded. But you ask any family member of someone that has 9-11 illness whether that memory can fade when they hear the coughing of their loved one. Whether that memory fades when someone on Father's Day is going to be bouncing their child on their knee and they're going to see that, that their illness is not going backwards just because we want it to. We have to take care of them. And if we follow the lead of Kirsten Gillibrand, of Carolyn Maloney, and all the people here assembled, we are going to do the right thing. On September 11th, we're going to read the name of those that gave their life in a heroic effort, and we're also going to be able to say this to those survivors that are sick, and we're going to take care of them. I've been with this Congresswoman from the beginning. For four years, I have walked the halls of Congress with two bad feet, with my team of rats, dedicated, sick and dying 9-11 responders, loyal to the cause. Senator Gillibrand, we are now working for you, but we are serving our brothers and sisters, and we report back to the thousands that are sick and dying. The same loyalty, the same dedication, the days without eating and sleeping, walking the halls, we're going to do for you. 